Hello and welcome back to Self Hosted. Today we are going to hook up an Echo Show with Home Assistant. Firstly, you'll have to enable the Home Assistant dashboard skill. Firstly, open the Alexa app. Then click on the four lines icon. Go to skill and games. Search Alexa skills. Type Home Assistant dashboard. Then click on the top result. Click on launch. Click on your Echo device and it will be launched on your Echo show. Once you launch it, this is what you will see. Enter in your information first. Once you have entered your data, click save. Data saved. And click on close. Now say Alexa. Open home automation. Now it will open Amazon Silk and take you to the website. As you can see here, I have already logged in, so do not ask for the username and password. But if you haven't, it will ask for the username, and you can do it. So uh, right now, if you open, for example, your dashboard here, it will stay on, but after seven or eight minutes, it will turn off. To prevent this, you have to do a bit of trickery inside of Home Assistant. So firstly, I am going to open up the view from which I want to copy. So for uh, right for now, I have three views here. I want to copy this one. If you don't have multiple views, it will be easier for you. First, click on Edit, go to Draw Configuration Editor, and scroll until you find Type Sections. Uh, you can see it is somewhere around here. Yeah. So Type Sections. Copy this from here, and copy it until you see headers and a bracket. Keep going down, and yeah, headers and a bracket. You copy this with Control C. You close this, and now you want to go to Settings. And now I want to go to dashboards, add dashboard, new dashboard from scratch. Write name like Alexa dash. I create Alexa dash. Go to Alexa dash, edit here, and go to draw configure editor. Now remove this title and paste in your code. Now click save. It is saved now. And you can see it has copied all over the whole dashboard. Now here is the magic. What you do? You click on Edit, Create New, search for Web Page. Once you type Web Web Page, instead of this, replace this URL with this URL I have here. And click and just paste it in here. No need to give a title or anything. Just click on Save. Now here. Uh, you have to do a, a little bit more weird, uh, weird stuff to uh, get this to work. If you if you want it like this, it's fine. But this is a bit ugly. So what I'll do, I'll open a horizontal stack, search cards, and I will do this web page one again only, and replace this with this uh, yeah with this URL, and now click new, go to mushroom empty card mushroom. You'll have to install this via hacks. Uh, you may have already done this, and now just keep do uh, keep doing this. I uh, this is to make it as small as possible. So I am going to create two or three like this. There will be no config options obviously because it's empty. Yeah, you just create multiple of these, and yeah, uh, you can get it to be as small as you want. This one, this web page was one doesn't have the uh, width and height properties, so that's why I'm using this. And you can uh, keep doing this until you get yeah. This is how small I want it for now. Now, if you uh, you can delete this if you don't want this, and just click done. Now it's over. Now, if when you will open this on your Alexa, as I'll show in the video. You can tap it once and it will stay uh, open. Basically, what it's doing, it's playing an invisible or unhearable sound, which uh, will not be heard by you, but it will keep the Silk browser on. So now, when I do Alexa, open Home Automation, it will fire up Amazon Silk, and then it will open Home Assistant. And now, via these three lines here, I want to go to Alexa Dash. Close this, and you can now uh, here. 
so you will see will stay this means that uh, this means that the amazon silk browser will stay on, on as long as this uh, thing is checked green so now you have successfully uploaded your home assistant dashboard to echo show now for example once you have quit out from the application you want to relaunch it you can say alexa open home automation alexa open home automation and we'll open it up it will go amazon silk and open the home automation yeah so what you can uh, what you can do you can go to the user profile here is kiosk alexa you can keep scrolling until until you find dashboard and in dashboard click on alexa dash once you have done that it, you can see that alexa dash is popped up at the top here so once you will remove it from uh, once again if you do home and you say alexa open home automation and you can see it will start again this shouldn't happen it shouldn't close automatically but if you close it on purpose then it will happen now you can see it has reloaded once again and it has straight up opened to the alexa dash if you found the video helpful please like and subscribe this is a quite a new channel so i would like, appreciate it very much